welcome back to the channel folks um, today I'm going to talk about this guitar I just finished up building two two or three days ago um, and this guitar is probably the best guitar I've made so far um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to top this one but anyway we'll hop into it uh, it's a 14 fret dreadnought as you can probably tell um, it's got a Carpathian spruce top, super nice, like very tight, straight grain stuff. Um, Brazilian rosewood bridge. We've got the abalone purfling all the way around it and on the rosette. And uh, I actually made this pit guard out of epoxy, um, kind of the same way that Wayne Henderson makes his. Um, but the really cool thing about this guitar is the back and sides it's just a master grade stunning set of koa i mean i've never seen anything like it really <laughs> it's got a really nice piece of sap running down the middle which i love and the sides are just as pretty as the back and uh you know i did curly maple binding on it which really offsets it really nice i think uh, mahogany, mahogany neck with the volute. Uh, another nice piece of koa for the headstock with my little bird inlay on there, uh, which is also bound in maple. Uh, let's see, we got snowflake inlays and an ebony fingerboard and an inch and three quarter nut. And, uh, and we've forward shifted like 37 style bracing. So not only does this guitar look nice, but it also has a really nice sound. Um, I've really enjoyed playing on this thing. Koa kind of has its own tonal properties. Uh, I feel like it has some of the punch that mahogany typically has, but it's still got that warm low end that's just... Kind of gives you that growl and that... It's just super good for rhythm, but... I mean, this guitar is good for any genre, any style, really. super happy with how it turned out um, this is my number 33 and uh, believe it or not this guitar could be yours um, I do have this for sale um, it'll be on my website so if you want to check it out I'll have the links in the description so feel free to shoot me an email or give me a phone call whatever and I'll be happy to chat with you so Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.